All right, guys, so I haven't done this. I haven't narrated a video in a while, but this is my bestie, Aura, who came in town to visit me. We did two workouts together, one with Blackstone Labs that you will see soon, and then, which happened to be a glute day. So even though it was Sunday, we decided to do quads. We did start out with uh, a bunch of sets of leg extensions. Um, we didn't do an annihilation set like I sometimes do. We did, a, um, and we didn't really do a drop set. We actually just just went as heavy as we possibly can and then did one burnout set so went back to our start weight um and then with this we went as heavy as we possibly could um which was i think a total of three plates and then what we did was we did our final set with controlled negatives not our final set second to last set controlled negatives so you'll see in this next round this is me on my own oh and p.s um i'm sure i've said this before in a video but the hack squat is a really hard exercise on the knees so if you notice i have some bands connected to the machine it's really just to take the pressure off the knees at the bottom position um so right here is where we're doing the controlled negatives so she does a three count down and then help uh, i and then i help her pull it back up and now she's doing the same thing for me um and we ended i think with eight reps i'm not showing everything uh we ended with eight or ten maybe we did ten um and then what we did was we stripped the weight down and we just went to complete burnout so we dropped it all the way down to one plate and we did either 15 or 20. again i'm not gonna bore you with watching me do all those or her me or her um so so nice, uh, got a lot of blood at the end of it. And you want to know what? In the beginning, this felt heavy. Um, and then at the end of the workout, when you get all the way to your top set and then you peel all the weight off, and sometimes I do this with bridges also, it feels super, super light. Um, we did not do a drop set on leg press, even though I really try to do it at least every other week. Um, but I just so happened to have done it the week before. Of course, you know me, I'm always dancing in between sets. Uh, we started, I think, with four plates and we worked our way all the way back up. I did not videotape, but I think we went up to eight plates, which you'll watch. Um, I think you'll watch me do up to eight plates. Okay, so that's my son, because I'm narrating this while he's with me. Um, but that's mommy life for you. So again, just acting like a fool in between. And um, I think that's eight plates right there that we got on. Eight or seven? Um, and I think we did 10 reps. Again, this was like a, th a few days ago. So I wanted to post another video for you guys because I'm trying to be more consistent. Please let me know if you like the video. Let me know what you want to see more of. I wish I did have a cameraman for every one of my videos. Um, but I'll be sharing more of the Blackstone Lab stuff as well. Um, and then, so as I was mentioning, what we did at the end of this was it dropped it down to, I think, three or four plates. And we did one set of 20. Uh, then we moved over to Goblet Squats. And of course... Of course, I have to act like a fool um, because, I mean, you got to keep it entertaining. You got to keep it light. So with this one, we started with 60, 70, 80, and we did 90. We did 12 to 10 reps. Um and that's it. And then uh, that's what we ended with. So um, please do me a favor. Like, share the video. Let me know what you like about the videos. Let me know what you want to see more of. I think this is the 90 right here. Um, we also did close foot position because we're working on that outer sweep of the quads. So subscribe, like it, leave a comment. Let me know. And stay tuned.